What's up guys, this is Henry again from the PSI Defense Channel coming to you with a short video about barrels and barrel detents. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about um, eBay barrels in particular. Uh, there is a three set kit on eBay. I believe it comes with a 16 inch barrel. It comes with a 14 inch barrel and it comes with a nine inch barrel. So in lieu of being able to find barrels for your FSCs, your T8.1s, and your T9.1s. That's really the only viable option that we have right now for uh, used barrels. This right here is the stock barrel from the T8.1. As you see, it's an 8-inch barrel with no threads. This is the uh, eBay barrel that you can get in a set or individually. They're, they're very inexpensive also. And this is a 9-inch barrel. It fits the T8.1 and T9.1. Um, the way you can tell is it has two settings because you can either set it here where you can see the, the bridge, or the breech, sorry, or you can turn it again where you will not see the breech. And that's for the side chamber on the T9.1 where it's hopper loaded. But for the T8.1s, you do not want to see this channel. You want to be able to have it set like that. The, the specs on the eBay barrels, they come with threaded tips and this is an actual Lapco um, muzzle tip, flash hider or bird cage, what they call it. And you can get several different styles that can go on the threaded tips of the eBay barrels. Um, uh, we actually measured the inside diameter of the eBay barrels and they come in at 0.686, so perfectly matched for Grimbergs and Sterling self-defense rounds. Um, riot balls come in uh, various diameters. So one of the most important things about your barrels, other than length, and your um, other than length and the bore, the bore size, is that you have gr good detents in there. As you see, these white detents. They're from Sterling Self-Defense. Um, I like them because they're very stiff. Um, we haven't even sheared a single one of these after hundreds of rounds. Um, the stock detents are good also, but uh, they're a little softer, made of a different material, and we have sheared those off. But <clears throat> if you're running into this, this uh, bad detents can contribute to a number of problems uh, firing markers um, one if you're having a lot of rounds fall out the barrel then um, you want to check your detents sometimes your detents and I'll show you on the white one because you can see it better sometimes the detents will get smashed in that channel as you see these uh, sterling self-defense ones pop right out but um, sometimes either the channel is tighter or they just get worn down, they won't hold as good. And if you notice, you get a HD 68 or HP 68 sorry. With the HP 68, it's designed to go right there to cradle your HPs in exactly the right position for it to fire properly. Feeds in like this and gets held into place by the detents. So you need your detents to be there accurately and then your bolt pushes it through. And if your detents are failing, then they won't keep your rounds in. And if they don't keep your rounds in and seated properly, then you can have multiple rounds enter your breech or your barrel. You can have them falling out the end and you can also get jams because if it goes beyond the point of where it should be seated, and then your mag is just going to push another one in there. And then it'll be cocked in here partially with another mag in front. When the bolt comes, click, you hear that click, and it'll jam. You can't release your mag until uh, you relieve pressure. That's a lot of times that's going to be a detent issue. <clears throat> so the SSD detents go in fairly easy um, they told me that they designed them a little looser so that there's not a lot of fuss going in there when you insert the barrel 
uh, the sides of the upper gun body hold them into place. Um, and I'll, I'll just show you guys with a uh, stock T8.1 barrel and first strike detents. Okay, so the way I do them, I start with the end here, making sure it's all the way down in the channel. And then I just slowly start to push it up from the bottom. Because where that gap is, they have a tendency to kind of twist and roll. And then they won't be seated right. You, you Let me see if I can get this one to go in wrong. Okay, they can either go in too far or they can go in crooked. And then your detent, you, do, you don't want them to go in too far like this. And you don't want them to be crooked, which I can't coax this one to be crooked, even though you might push it in like that and look at it like, oh, hey, that detent is sticking out further. That would be better. But not actually because after you get your bolt going through here uh, a number of times, you know, that could cause issues where the detent can get stuck in that chamber. So I encourage you all to take the time. You know, I like to use a pick sometimes and just kind of. You'll see as a detent, if, if your detent is not going in right, to just kind of coax it to where it's going to be just a flat surface. You see that? That's pretty much perfect. That's what you want your rubber detents to look like. Sterling self-defense ones, that they're not quite as soft. They just fall right into place. Um, I found they work better with aftermarket barrels because with the stock barrel, it, sometimes it's a little tighter fit for those. But... Um, I don't know how manufacturing process for barrels is, but until, you know, Lapco kind of gets up to speed, then we're all kind of stuck with what we got. Um, and actually, any stock barrel, here's, well, that's not the stock T9.1 barrel, but this is a st stock T9.1 extension from a barrel. All the stock uh, Tiberius and First Strike barrels are made by Lapco. See what we got here. This is a stock FSC barrel. No, this is actually my Lapco rifle barrel. Same deal here. They come with threads. Rifling is great. I kind of need to clean that up. The rifling is great to uh, spin stabilize rounds for distance. I guess you get a benefit being that the barrel is so short. But I don't know. Let's see if you can see this rifling at all. Yep, you can see the rifling. Which for shape projectiles, like the HDs or HPs and SSDs, really see a great benefit from rifle barrels. For the most part, for the majority of self-defense scenarios, smooth bore is perfectly adequate. You just want to make sure you have your bore matched to your rounds. Um, with, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of two one thousandths difference. So by meaning that, I've got... We've got 686 barrels here. That's all the barrels that I have is 0.686 bore. So I don't want to go anything less than 0.684. And I probably don't want to go anything higher than 0.685 because I don't want it too tight. I don't want too much of a gap around it. So that way uh, the, um, the CO2 that's getting expelled out of the muzzle also helps to force your projectile downrange. That's why longer barrels give you a greater power and efficiency. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to talk a little bit about barrels, a little bit about installing detents. It's very important. I say keep a nice little, they're, they're cheap enough, where you can just keep your nice little back stock of your detents to where uh, whenever you have an issue, you can just slap another one in there. Definitely a worthwhile investment because with less lethal markers, you need reliability. And in order to get reliability, you have to be able to maintain them. You have to be able to clean them. You have to be able to lubricate them. So, all right, guys, uh, please like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content and you like the participation in the comment section, the more, um, the more subscribers I get, the more 
YouTube will unlock features that'll make our uh, comment section a lot better. So thanks, big shout out to everybody who's subscribed so far. I'm gonna keep the content coming for you guys. Definitely take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Talk to y'all later, peace.